Hello everyone, welcome to Ikita platform and this is Ravin Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the basic introduction related with the harmonics. So let's talk about one by one. I have included some important points related with the harmonics. So we will talk about of them. So if I talk about the first point, it is saying that the HVDC converters actually they introduce both the AC and the DC harmonics. Why they actually introduce both the harmonics? Because we we have the HVDC transmission system in such a way that from the generating to the load we are operating with the AC as well as DC. And why? Because in between the two converter station we have the transmission line that is only carrying the DC currents and the DC voltage. Apart from that, that will have the AC values, AC fundamental values, the AC current and the AC uh, voltage and accordingly the power will be there. So and the, on the AC side, we will have the A, AC harmonics on the DC side, we will have the DC harmonics and accordingly they are inserted on those uh, uh, lines. Okay, now we will talk about what, what are the actually problems. So obviously these are the unwanted kind of frequencies. So these are kind of uh, harmonious to our system and what are these look at this interference to the telephonic line so if you talk about the telephonic line that is actually running parallel to the your transmission lines okay so what happens uh, due to the high voltage values and due to these harmonics some uh, the frequencies or uh, the different phenomena can be seen which causes the interference to the telephonic line we have already studied relative with the uh, different effects in the AC transmissions accordingly we are having the DC in the DC system also. So you can say all in over you can say that there is an interference to the telephonic line that is the first point. Now over voltage is due to the resonance. So uh, it is carrying the inductor resistance and the capacitor. So all in over it will have the resonance effect and so over voltages it over voltages due to the resonance will be seen there. Now instability of the converter control primary with the ipc scheme of the firing pulse generation okay so uh one second if i talk about this ipc scheme that is the individual pulse control so instability of the control converter control it means the uh, as we are using the different controlling schemes to the converter side so there may be there uh, may be a chances of instability that it will be unstable and why it is due to due to this harmonics only as we are using the controlling scheme advanced controlling scheme but if there is a harmonics arises these harmonics causes your instability in the converter control and that is primarily with the ipc scheme of the firing pulse generation now interference with the ripple control systems used in the load management in the load management we are generally using the ripple control systems and if the harmonics is arising okay so there is cause of uh, interference to this now additional power losses uh, this power losses are kind of the additional power losses although we are having the some power losses because uh, no system is a kind of ideal so obviously there will be a power losses in the dc as well as in the ac but due to these harmonics other than these uh, losses we are also having the some other additional losses so obviously it is going to be harmonious to our system so additional power losses or uh, as the power losses are increasing causing the causing the heating of the equipments if the heating of the equipments uh, increases then we have to use some uh, different uh, schemes for the cooling uh, schemes and that will uh, cause the additional costing of two our systems now ac filters are used in the filter out the ac current harmonics and which are the critical they may be turned or uh, they that may be not the turn that may be tuned or hpf single tune double tune we will uh, look for that and hpf that is the high pass filter we are going to uh, look forward that now and DC filters with the smoothing reactor filters and that is the, for the DC harmonic. So you can easily understand for uh, filtering out the AC harmonics we are uh, using the AC filters and for filtering out the DC harmonics we are using the DC filters only. Now 
Usually we use the passive type filters consisting the inductors and the capacitors because these uh, different combinations of the inductor and capacitors we can make uh, filters according to our use so that we can uh, filter out the uh, low harmonics uh, higher harmonics okay so according to that we can design using the different values of inductor and different connection schemes precisely uh, 14 active filter on the DC side and one active filter on the AC side are actually used here so I hope you have understood all the basic concepts related with this uh, topic Thank you so much.